Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this video we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of March in the areas of love and relationship. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. First we're going to take a, take a look at your angel guide oracle card which for you is the card of composure. So this is the card that's telling you that some of you might be frustrated by something. Some of you might be um uh, kind of uh, annoyed by something and this is your time to really compose yourself uh, be calm uh, maybe meditate maybe uh, just just you know uh, get uh, your uh, thoughts uh, together uh, pull your, your thoughts together and that's going to be able to help you to move forward uh, because you know um, uh, just focus on yourself uh, don't focus on others don't focus on the karma of others just focus on your yourself and and you're going to be able to uh, achieve whatever uh, you are trying to do so be uh, focused be in a zen state and that's going to be able to help you to make the decisions that you might have to uh, make uh, in the center of your reading you do have the two of ones the two of ones which is the card of planning and decision so planning perspective it can be that some of you might be um, might have achieved a lot in terms of a relationship perspective some of you might be in a relationship and uh, deep down you know that there's more for you to discover the whole world is in front of your feet uh, but whatever you dis uh, achieved it's kind of holding you back so some of you uh, have to make a decision uh, maybe uh, decide whether you want to be in a relationship or be single uh, some of you need to choose between two people uh, it kind of comes down to uh, various ways uh, but there's definitely you're at the fork of a road where you need to make a decision which way you're gonna go down and you're gonna know uh, which path to take it's gonna be clear for you but I think this being composed is very important aspect of it to find that uh, perfect path your reading actually starts with the ten of cups which is a beautiful harmonious energy this is the card of happily ever after this is the card of perfect happiness when you went through a difficult time in your life and uh, you're kind of achieving that um, that uh, harmonious feel of zen energy of, of being happy in the moment uh, no matter what kind of hard uh, life it, it is for you uh, this can be and like you're in an existing relationship you kind of went through some difficult times and you're able to work it out the rainbows are indicating that but it can be also that you know you're just finding your your happy place uh, where you are uh, joyful uh, but definitely great energy from a relationship perspective when you're finding your uh, perfect happiness you also have the six of cups which is also related to harmony balance and it's a the energy of kindness uh, so uh, being kind with each other uh, is is very important and this is this has this very uh, f uh, feel to it when you're kind of going back in the past in your thoughts um, when you kind of uh, this feel of nostalgia when you think back about the good old days when things were kinder the things were nicer or that's how they felt uh, maybe some of you are reconnecting with your past some of you might be meeting a, a childhood friend some of you um, might be reconnecting with an ex uh, there's definitely something here connected to that but it can be also a card that's signifying children maybe you have children that are very important for you uh, this period of your life the next card we have here is the king of pentacles the king of pentacles can be a person uh, you're dealing with or your energy uh, this is definitely an earth sign uh, if it's a person he's somebody who is very loyal very loving very caring uh, somebody who you can rely on it can be an indication of a stable long-term relationship especially with this uh, ten of cups with a very happy uh, reliable relationship uh, if you're single I think there's definitely a person like that or a relationship like that that is coming uh, uh, your way definitely positive um, uh, energies 
And you also have here the Emperor. The Emperor, which is uh, the card of success. It is a card of being organized. And, and, and it is a, a, a card of control as well. So uh, some of you need to kind of uh, pay attention to uh, how much you are trying to control the situation. Uh, some of you need to kind of uh, pay attention to how much you are organized or how rigid you are in your approach. The emperor can be a person as well. It's somebody who's like a very charismatic a leader. He is uh, the person who is unifying all of the energies of all of the king. Uh, in a relationship perspective, if you're a female energy, it can be a person that has a very good uh, impact on every aspect of your life. Uh, but one, there's one challenge with this person that he's not able to uh, showcase his feelings. Um, or it can be a sign that you need to uh, actually as express your feelings a little bit better. And the next card we have here is the Chariot, which is the card of victory, the card of moving forward, charging forward, uh, and uh, leaving, uh, leaving the troubles in the past, leaving the troubles behind. Very interesting uh, aspect of this card, uh, just the fact that uh, control, uh, because, uh, you know, the chariot is in control, but it is also about the balance of how much you are trying to control things and how much you, you are letting things happen, how much you are letting the universe to guide you. And I think uh, it's an important message in this reading, especially that the fact that you have the emperor, which is all about control. Chariot can be also moving forward uh, or progressing. So there's something in your relationship that's progressing. But it can be also a card of moving. Also can be a card of traveling. Uh, but let's see uh, what's going to be the final outcome of this reading. Uh, but before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That's an indication that the reading helped you. And you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most. For you, it is only costing a push of a button. So I hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons. I'm always very excited to read in the comment as well how this reading is resonating with your reality. So let's continue. The next card is the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is leaving something behind, leaving something behind that was dear for you, uh, that made you happy, but no longer. And you're looking, uh, you're kind of uh, going on this journey of following your in instinct, following your passion to find your true happiness, your nine of cups. So this can be like, you know, um, some of you might be leaving a situation behind, uh, leaving a relationship behind um, or, or leaving the, the troubles behind as well, because you just want to find your true happiness. Very important to uh, listen to your inner voice, your guidance in that process. And the next card we have here is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, which is uh, number 10. 10 is always an indication of an end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is all about change, change that is uh, for the better. Uh, this is the card when uh, the universe is co-creating with you to bring something better in your life. Uh, this is the energy when you're at the right time, at the right place, you're meeting the right person. Uh, so if you're single, there's definitely some positive change that's coming in, in that. If you're looking for a relationship, if you are in a relationship there's a, if, and, and you went through some difficult times, it can be that things are getting better. Things are getting uh, easier. It can be also that the relationship is changing uh, to a certain degree that uh, uh, moving up, uh, maybe you are moving in with, with each other, maybe you are uh, getting engaged, getting married. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is it can be tricky sometimes uh, because uh, if you're in a relationship that's no longer serving you, the Wheel of Fortune actually might remove that from your life so you can attract something better, something that's going to be way better for you than your current situation. But let's see the last card. The last card is the world. 
The world uh, which is all about completion, ending a cycle, starting a new one. Uh, it is also a card that's uh, indicating that whatever you uh, want to achieve, you're achieving it, you learned your lesson, you, uh, you uh, achieved your targets. If your target is to get married, finding a relationship, having children, definitely an indication that you're achieving it. And especially with the uh, uh, Six of Cups, there might be for some of you as a goal to have children. Um, the world can be also a card of travel. And you have two travel cards here the chariot and the world. Some of you might be going on a world trip, who knows. I kind of, I find it also interesting that you have the two of ones, which is like, you know, normally it has the world symbol in it because he's holding the world in his hand. And, and you have the world card, uh, which is kind of like, I, I get the feel that the world is yours to discover. Um, and then when you look at the Wheel of Fortune and the world, uh, there's definitely an indication of of a big change uh, that's about to happen uh, for you that you're you're just about to uh, accomplish something big uh, something uh, great it's definitely connected to some victory as well uh, and um, when you look at the bottom of the deck you do have the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles is uh, has this very independent feel to it if you are single you're not necessarily looking to uh, settle down or you're just very picky in terms of uh, choosing who you want to be with and and you're not easily giving up whatever you achieved if you are in an existing relationship this card is indicating a mature relationship where both parties are kind of enjoying now the benefits of the relationship and and and, and it's also about giving the freedom to your partner to discover their passions to discover what makes them happy. It's kind of interesting here, this um, connection to the Eight of Cups, where he's going on the, this journey of, um, of discovering uh, the passions and, uh, and, and, and the true calling. So maybe uh, some of you kind of trying to make a decision about that, that's uh, connecting, uh, that's somehow connected to uh, your relationship. But uh, practically, uh, the world is yours and something create something big is about to happen for you and don't forget to be um, composed and don't forget to be very relaxed as part of this uh, process so that's all i have for you i hope that this reading helped you and i'll be able to welcome you again